ball for him, but he got fouled. Adams still fouling 54, Michael Cleary. Michael Cleary picked up the foul for the Adamsville Cardinals. 15 to seven ball game. West Carroll trailing, Newble is on the line. A five six senior averaging 10 points a ball game. Shot it off the rim, will not fall. The free throws, another shot for the field are falling too well for the West Carroll team at the moment. Sub coming in the ball game. Tracy Carter, 6'1", junior comes in, going out is Chad White for the Addisville Cardinals. What do we got? Three and 12, 25%. That's what they're shooting so far in the game. West Carroll shooting as Newble is on the line. Newble shot it, Newble got it. He's one of two at the free throw line. There's 15 to eight score. A couple of threes would change the complexion for West Carroll. And almost lost the ball back court. Carter with it, Carter looking, Carter being covered. Carter was finally fouled there by Newble. Newble picks up foul number one, hacked him on the arm. 15-8 ball game, 42 seconds to play first quarter. West Carroll foul number 11. Down shooting foul to be in that inbounded from, from side back court by Matt Hoover. Well, they had us with Cardinals. Matt Hoover gets it to John Hoover, the Hoover brothers. John working outside. John picks up the dribble, looks right, gets it, gets it to B.J. Sharon on the right wing. Back out to Cleary, man-to-man -man pressure here by Wes Carroll. Spinning coming right, Cleary. Cleary looks in the corner, gets to Sharon down here to Hoover. Hoover put the left hand up and in. Matt Hoover has six. 17-8, Adams will end the lead over Wes Carroll. With the basketball is Newble. Newble to bring it across the timeline. Bounce pass feed in there quickly. In the corner to Word. Word back over to Dexter Williams, and they followed him. They shot at him. Over the shot, Dexter Williams missed it. One go. Rebound it picked up here by Joe Word. Goes outside, pops him a three out there. Won't fall. Buzzer goes off here. In the one quarter of action. 17 for Adamsville. Eight for West Carroll. At the end of the first quarter of play, let's take a break on the Chico Bless Double A Basketball Network. The Blue Raider Athletic Association invites you to come by their concession stands on all four corners of the track level. Feature delicious hot dogs, ice cold Pepsi, popcorn, nachos, and your favorite candy. Also, the stands around the floor contain Witt's Barbecue, and in the southeast corner, delicious, creamy Mayfield ice cream. The food courts on the north and south side also have soft pretzels, cotton candy, and snow cones. And if you like pizza, we've got pizza at Murphy Center behind Section M, Pizza Hut, and behind Section R and Section C, Papa John's. And you can also get tasty tombstone pizza in the concession stands themselves. Second quarter getting underway as Matt Hoover inbounds the basketball, gives it to Chad White. White will take it on the attack for Adamsville, gets by his guard out front, knob down inside of Hoover. Hoover posting up down on the left side of the lane. Back out front, gives it to number 33, Tony Engel, who's in the ball game. Engel over to Chad White, right wing, down low to Hoover. Hoover double teamed, got in trouble. That said, McCleary, Cleary shot a three pointer, missing. Rebound at Dexter Williams, and Dexter will take it on the timeline, cross the timeline, working, almost lost control, kicks the ball back out there to Travis Carter. Now back to De Dexter Williams, and they'll circle the wagons and go again. In the corner, Newble going to take a three, won't go. Rebounded, double team down low, rebounded by LaShawn Williams, out to Dexter Williams, puts up a three, knocked it down. Dexter That's got over there, and he's really three. having to work to get off it because Matt Hoover shot him out front with a 6'6 frame, hard to shoot those threes. 17-11 score, Hoover inside. Hoover back out front to Cleary. Cleary puts up a shot, Cleary puts in a shot. Michael oh, Cleary has a three-pointer outside. Oh, With a basketball, moving on the attack is Dexter Williams. Shovels it down in the corner to LaShawn Williams. 20-11 score, as that is the lead. LaShawn takes it to the glass, won't go. Rebounded, picked up here by Hook outside to Dexter. With a three-pointer off the rim, will not fall. And a player got shoved down on the bucket as he getting up real slow. That was a West Carroll player who did the shoving. 54, Michael Cleary picks up his second foul as he was clearing out, literally, folks. He cleared out with Sean Williams and put him on the deck. Foul was called, inbound play, West Carroll. Dexter Williams will inbound it. 
Gives it to Michael Newble, left wing. Newble out front. Newble working right side to Dexter Williams down low. Inside the corner, back to Newble. Newble outside. Newble can't go over to Dexter Williams. There is a three-second violation call against Travis Carter. Turnover. West Carroll, that's their second. Addison will turn it over two times here this afternoon. Semifinal matchups, Boys State Tournament 20 to 11 ball game. Addisville in the lead as Chad White brings it on the attack in the corner to Cleary. Cleary in there to Hoover. Hoover back out front to John Hoover. Hoover back to Chad White. White in the corner to Cleary. Cleary back to John Hoover. Puts up a long three pointer missing. The battle for the ball coming over the back was Engle as he had him blocked off, screened off effectively. Number 22 with Travis Carter went up and got it. Tony Engle went over his back and fouled him. That's 16 fouls on the Addisville Cardinals. There's been three 14 fouls on the West Carroll War Eagles. Dexter Williams will inbound the basketball. By West Carroll, Dexter Williams inside the Carter. A turnover, they said Dexter walked on the end line to throw the ball in. He didn't walk till he got the ball thrown in. Cleary goes out, Sharon goes back in there for Adelsville, inbound play we made. By Hoover down low, breaking underneath was Engle, and Engle had the easy layup. Now with the basketball as Dexter Williams almost lost control, did. They tripped him up, picked up here by Casey Rogers, shot it, missed it, rebounded this time at Travis Carter. As Luke Rogers it was, who had the ball and shot, wouldn't go down as Dexter Williams with the ball. Turnover four for West Carroll, two for Adamsville. Dexter Williams outside with it, Dexter rolling. Right side, man-to-man -man pressure, staying out there with him is Hoover. Six foot six, ball down low, gets inside. Now to Newble, back outside. Newble puts up a three, won't go. Rebound, tipped away, slapped away, picked up by Hoover. Matt Hoover. Matt looking, gives it to Luke Rogers. Rogers down the floor here to Sharon. Hit his hands, fell away, couldn't control it, so Addisville has turned it over. Try to feed him down in the corner. Three turnovers, Addisville. Going to be some timeout taken. 5.33 to play, 22-11. West Carroll trailing in this ball game. If you're a recent high school graduate, nobody needs to tell you what the job market is like out there. It's rough, period. You don't have good training experience. You're probably looking at a job that's a lot less than you had in mind. But while you're looking, looking on your local Army recruiter, you're going to find the Army puts a true value on your diploma and can provide the solid training and real experience and can get you started on the kind of life you plan. Put your high school diploma to work. Be all you can be in today's Army. For complete information, call your Army recruiter and do it today. Get Clawson products at your local grocer. as Adelsville is on top. Ball will be inbounded here by Dexter Williams. And if it was intercepted, picked up, and ball was Matt Hoover stole it. Matt got eight points Matt in the Hoover. game. 24 to 11, Adelsville Cardinals doing a number here early on against West Carroll as Dexter Williams now will inbound. He gives to Newble, and Newble with the basketball. Newble spins. Comes out of there with it. They have to tall young is back, and Newell is only 5'6". He throws the ball way over the floor. And then you got a double team as somebody open. There's Sean Williams takes it up there, blocked away there by Sharon, picked up here by Rogers. Rogers gives it quickly over to, to Chad White, and White will take it on the attack for Adamsville. Chad White working left, looked to Hoover. He's posted up, and a technical foul has been called here on the bench of West Carroll. The technical foul has been against the West Got some thin skin, I guess, when he called it. Save was standing over there in front of the bench. Was an embarrassment to him. But a foul, technical foul, has been called on the bench of West Curl. As Matt Hoover will go on the line. At the line, number 34, Matt Hoover, two shots. 505 to play. This one's up and in. And Matt Hoover has nine points in the game. This one's up, that one's in. Two of two of the line. Three of three is a team for the Addisville Cardinals. 26 to 11 score as Addisville Cardinals in the lead in the ballgame. 5.05 to play in the first half of play. And Chad White with the basketball. He'll bring it across the timeline. White working, 
stops outside, went to shoot, got hammered by Newble, and Newble has picked up foul number two. Newble has foul number two. Number 40, Casey Meek comes in the ball game for Adamsville. Out there goes Tony Engel, number 33, the senior 6'3". Got a big three-point play for him early on. And Chad White is on the line. First trip there, hasn't scored here this afternoon. 4.58 to play first half. This one's up and that one is missing. Chad White, it fell off of there. Chad gets another. 5'9", senior guard in basketball. He's the quarterback on the football team at Adamsville. This one's up and that one is good. He's one of two of the line. 27 to 11. Now with the basketball is Dexter Williams. Williams gives it out here to Travis Carter. Long pass in the corner to Word. Almost went over his head. Couldn't handle it and White picked it up. Threw it too far. White with the basketball. White over to, to uh, Matt Hoover. Hoover down the right wing. Hoover looks inside to Sharon. Went over his head and LaShawn Williams grabbed it out of his hand. And he gives it to Dexter Williams. And Williams will bring it across the timeline. Williams working out front, spinning, comes out of the key, looking for help. Down in the corner, gives it over to Luke, to uh, number 23, Joe Word. He hits a three. 27 to 14. We need several of those here for Wes Carroll to catch back up in this one. 420 to play in the ballgame. Whether it is Matt Hoover, he on the wing, right side. Threw it away, intercepted by Joe Word. Word over to Dexter Williams. He'll bring it on the attack. Dexter Williams working down, left side, backing out, looking. There's Wes Carroll trying to get back in this ball game. Over to Travis Carter, right side, Noble. Noble puts up a shot missing, and there's a foul called underneath. And it may be on LaShaw. He was stretched out underneath, trying to get position under there. Who was it? Double foul? Was a double foul. A double foul has been assessed. LaShaw has. West Carroll, number 10. LaShaw Williams, his third, the team seventh. For Adamsville, the foul number 40, Casey Meek, his second, the team seven. Casey Meek, and that's his second foul. Possession to West Carroll. All right, Casey Meek has two, so it's a double foul. Possession ever goes to West Carroll as Dexter Williams will inbound. He throws it way back, almost went to the half line. Joe Word caught up with the ball, gives it over to Travis Carter, Carter to Dexter Williams, double team pressure. Down low inside, quickly to Carter. Carter puts up a shot, won't go. They crash the board, pick slapped away. Underneath and finally picked up here by Rogers. And it went off the fingertips of Sharon. And Rogers is trying to get it down the floor to Sharon and threw it away when it of his fingertips out of bounds. 3.43 to play first half, 27 to 14. West Carroll trading with this one. returns for the Cardinals. As Dexter Williams will inbound the ball, and number five is in the ball game, Terrence Hillsman for the West Carroll War Eagles. Over to Dexter Williams, and Dexter will take it across the timeline. 3.40 to play, first half. Hillsman with the basketball, Hillsman outside with it. Working down low, try to feed it down low, tipped away. Sherrod got the intercept, give it to Matt Hoover. Hoover looking. Hoover will bring it down. Hoover looks, pills up, gives it left side to, to John Hoover. John Hoover tried to throw it over to B.J. Sherrod. Breaking under, threw it away. Turnover, Adamsville, seven turnovers. And West Carroll's turned it over seven times. Hillsman gives it to Williams, and Williams will bring it down. He's picked up by Hoover in the backcourt. Hoover, six foot six, has been a Nemesis as far. Far Dexter Williams here this afternoon. Normally a prolific three-point shooter. Just hasn't been able to get that three-point shot working because Matt Hoover, six foot six, towering over him out there at 5'10". With it right side. As number 21, Wesley Lewis in the ball game here for West Carroll. Shot taken and good there by Travis nice Carter. Got the feet down low and turn around, pumped it in, 27-16 ball game. Down the left side, Sharon. Sharon takes it to the baseline. And, and Sharon got the baseline and he took it home, driving in from the left side. The extra Williams backcourt being pressed. <coughs> Gives it to Hillsman, Hillsman to Lewis. Lewis out to Dexter Williams. Williams trying to get a pickle out front, didn't get it. They tried to shoot it, hit his hand, fell away. And with it, outside the Hillsman, Hillsman to Dexter Williams over to Hillsman. Hillsman trying to drive, has the key, gonna work right side. As Matt Hoover's on Hillsman now, they run Dexter Williams down low. They then shaved him off on John Hoover. 
With a basketball is Joe Word. Word puts up a shot. Word missed a shot. And rebounded here by Matt Hoover. And down the floor they go. In there quickly to 